What's up guys, Man here. Please stay to the end of the video to see the build specs and skill tree. UAV down. I can't reach it, so I'll go for UAV, please. UAV activated. Fox 4, Fox 5 there. Target acquired.
UAV Charlie 4. UAV. Oh, go on. Oh, no, no, still there. Target spotted. New target acquired. These guys can't shoot down the UAV, man. Target acquired. UAV down. Target spotted. Left here, my chat, please. Alright. New target acquired. Target spotted. New target acquired. Proper leg. Target acquired. Target spotted. Target acquired. Target spotted. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Target acquired. I got some Target south spotted. Irby's. Unless we fuck it up now. Need 
Here we are, Banshee. This is the 3M champion. Dark colors. I decided to go with large pulse, triple large X pulse, and then five medium X pulse. One in the head, two in the left torso, one in the right, four, two in the right torso, sorry. And you see two large X pulses on the right torso on the left. Um, they're mounted this way so I can get the high mounts and the large X pulse lasers and the lower mounts are for the medium except for the head. Now what's unusual about this mech? I decided to go with an XL engine. If I come down to light um, I really don't get the weight benefit that I want to both these standard heat sinks. So I've got a total of 20 plus 10 in the engine. The single heat sinks offer the benefit of taking up fewer slots, but also have a higher critical heat threshold. And um, they dissipate, of course, 
not as fast as doubles, but doubles taking triple slots. And we wanted to boat as many heat sinks as I could. This seemed to be the best option. The XL allowed me to boat a few more. You see, it wouldn't heat sink in each arm, two in the legs, which if you're in water, I believe that doubles the dissipation. Two heat sinks in the CT, four heat sinks in the engine, on top of what's already in the engine. Three in the right torso and five in the left torso. So putting the center heat sinks, of course, you're going to want to think about the skills. You want to increase your th heat threshold, so you're going to want to look at cool run heat containment. Of course, this is a hot build, so you want to do everything you can for cooling. Cool run maxed out, heat containment maxed out. Beyond that, because it's pulses, I don't care about refire rate, so I got rid of all my cooldowns and my range. I'm working extremely hard at heat generation mitigation right there. So got minus 10.5 on heat generation and then the rest of course because this is a fit in your face tanking build skeletal density armor hardening reinforced casing the overheat damage is important in fact crucial to this mech so we got here the 20% off the damage which really matters when you're writing that overheat they've nerfed the cool shots a little bit nonetheless we got double cool shots with the with the perks here reserve and cool shot cooldown essential if you're going to be active throughout the match beyond that you know rate of deprivation you're a slow mech you want to be able to get a line of sight a seismic sensor bare minimum just to not get caught with a rear shot hill climb since i want this mech to be able to maneuver as much as you can with that excel i don't want to be stuck anywhere where i'm getting singled out and then the other thing that I took into consideration was that all my weapons are torso mounted. Torso speed for fast twisting when I need to. Torso yaw so I can shoot down UAVs. I'm sorry, the pitches for UAVs so I can aim up. And of course, mechs that are up above or down below me. And the increased yaw so I'm able to twist more. And that's it guys. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to look at these skills as they're distributed. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the match. Um, and I hope you have fun with this build if you choose to follow up with it.